this video explains how you can debug your javascript code in vs code so i have installed the uh, code runner extension and let us say you want to debug some lines in this particular code so let's say you want to debug at this from this point onward so what you have to do is just take your mouse at that line and you will see the red dot just click on that and as you can see this red dot is appearing there now so we have added the breakpoint this is called as a breakpoint so breakpoint basically tells that uh, that uh, execution control to uh, pause at that point and then you can monitor the variables you can basically uh, debug the stuff now if you run it using the run code uh, there is a code runner extension and uh, that's why i'm seeing this particular button so if you have not installed you have to install the code runner extension first i have already installed it and that's why i can see this, this is the code runner extension so if you run it it will uh, just execute the code without pausing at this particular line but if you want to pause at this particular line at the breakpoint what you have to do is go to the run and then you can see start debugging thing or you can also press f5 on windows and once you are there you can click on start debugging once you click there what happens is that the code is executed up until that point at a break point you can see it is now stopping and the line is also highlighted you can also monitor the variables or whatever uh, thing that you want to debug so you can see on the user class if i take my mouse it is showing all the details of that particular uh, user class and a c2 is currently undefined because assignment has not happened yet and the interesting thing that you can see is you can on the left hand side it will show the local and global context so local context uh, basically is saying c1 c2 exports f1 module o1 o2 so these are the things that are available in this uh, local context or in this particular file and uh, this is the global context so with the global context you can access a global clear timeout set timeout remember that you can access these things because they are available in the global context so you can access it anywhere in your code and this is our local context so this helps uh, you to debug the stuff very easily and on the down here you can also see the call stack as well if you want to watch some expressions you can put it there for example if you want to monitor what is being stored in c2 you can just click there and then put c2 or you can just select the thing that you want to watch and then there should be some button to add it to the watch looks like this button is not there but you can definitely click here and then put c2 there hit enter and currently c2 is undefined now if you want to go to the next line you can see at the top these buttons are being displayed in the debug mode and this is the continue so what happens is that it will continue to execute the rest of the statements in our code but if you want to uh, like step over that means just this line will be executed and then uh, it will pause uh, go to the next line and pause it there so let us do that and then let us also watch what is happening to c2 so i'm gonna step over so you can see as soon as i click on this uh, step over c2 variable uh, or the identifier is updated it is basically an object and then you can see it has got these properties and this is the method that this object has got so that's how you can uh, do the debugging now there are other things as well like step into and uh, step out so these things are useful if uh, you are making a function call or method call so with the step into what happens is that control is 
taken to the uh, statements in that particular function so for example this printl this basically is a function or method call so if you do step into what will happen is that it will go to this particular line in that particular function but if you do step over what happens is that uh, the debugger will not go and pause it there in that particular function it will just execute this line completely and to step out uh, basically uh, the opposite of step into so with the step uh, into you can go into the nested function call and to come out of that uh, particular uh, function call you can use this step out and there is another button say restart and uh, stop so these buttons are also available basically to stop the execution at this point so basically that's how you can do the debugging and there are other stuff as well for example uh, you want to clear all the breakpoints so just go here and then you can see there are a lot of options disable breakpoints remove breakpoints so when you disable it the breakpoint will still be there a bit but it will not it will not work it will not uh, pause it at that point of time if you do remove completely uh, all these uh, breakpoints will be removed so that is how you can debug the code in VS Code. thanks